Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs.
It is 8.51 a.m. and I just gave Ditto his breakfast. He's having a scoop of the homemade raw food with water mixed in and also the gabapentin, the painkiller, and the Veriflux, the antibiotic. So I'll let him eat that. I'm going to go feed the other cats. Then I'll come back. Hopefully his plate will be empty and I'll give him the rest of his breakfast. He's been watching duck videos on the TV and uh, he seems to be enjoying just laying on this day sofa. I just gave Ditto the second half of his breakfast, which is another scoop of the homemade raw food. And he's getting one of the Stella and Chewy's chicken patties. And he's going straight for the homemade raw food. And I just wanted to mention that when I checked the security camera footage this morning, um, he spent pretty much the entire night uh, laying on the day sofa where he is now. Um, he did get down to use the litter box. And what was really good is that I saw him stretch this morning. So he stood up on all four of his legs and he stretched. He stretched his back up, you know, like a, almost like the typical Halloween cat pose. So it's good that he's starting to stretch because it means he's more comfortable. It also means he's feeling a little bit better because he's putting weight on his front leg. The other thing that I noticed is that when he did jump down from this day so far, he's definitely putting a lot more weight on the front leg. So it appears to be getting better for him. And we have to remember he did not have a painkiller last night. So he went through the night without any painkillers. So that could be a very good sign also that he's now stretching um, without a painkiller and he's putting more weight on the foot without a painkiller. So I am going to leave him here to finish eating. I'm gonna see if Hydrox wants some food and I need to uh, eat something myself. I'm always the last one. It's 9.15, I just came in to check on Ditto. Looks like he made a little bit of a mess here and I just saw him go underneath the day sofa. So I'm gonna clean this up and maybe what I'll do is put a new towel on here if he's if he stays underneath, uh, it'll give me a chance to change this towel. Okay, I just gave him a fresh towel, and that'll be nice once he comes out from under the day sofa. I don't know where he went down there. It is 11.47 a.m., and I bought Ditto some flowers for his room. So we have some little sunflowers, and I put a few little carnations in the front. They should bloom. Everything should start uh, blooming soon. I have it in some water and some plant food. I'm gonna put this on the shelf just to make this room a little bit cheerier and to raise the energy. Fresh flowers are really good at raising vibrations. I put it on the table next to the TV so he can look at it while he watches his videos. Hey, you doing Ditto, you okay under there? He's been hanging out under here all morning, that's fine. Sometimes the cats like to hang out under here. It's a nice little private area for them. I just sprayed a little bit of this pet remedy spray on the towel. Maybe he's feeling a little bit anxious today, so maybe this will help calm him and draw him out. It's 2.15 p.m. Look at Ditto. <laughs> I just walked in the room. He's laying here with the toys. He's not playing with them, but he's laying with them. It's time for a squeeze up, Ditto. You want to squeeze up? I have a tuna churu in my hand. Want a tuna churu? Yeah, I got a churu for you. Okay. Here. You can have it. Okay, you don't want it? You want it on a plate? All right, he's afraid of it. You hold the plate, I hold the plate. You eat it.
Okay. Good job. You want to get the little bath last bits? Sorry if it's blurry. It is 4 p.m. right now. I just came into Ditto's room with this brush. I let him smell it. I brushed him twice with it on his back, and then he he got up like he was laying down. So I put the brush down here so he could get used to it, and now he's going back. <laughs> he's going under the day sofa. Look at this. I just walked out of Ditto's room, and look at this. Who knocked over the cat tower? Simba, did you knock over that cat tower? Who knocked it over? Stella, did you knock it over? I think Simba might have knocked it over. I'll have to check the camera and see if it caught anything. It is 8.12 p.m. And I just gave Ditto some dinner. And I'm sitting on the couch while he's eating dinner. I'm sitting right next to him. So he's getting a scoop of homemade raw food with water mixed in. And I did put the gabapentin in it. He was hiding more today than he did yesterday. So I'm really giving it to him more for the anti-anxiety. Uh, effects that it has. I just want to see if I notice a difference tomorrow where he's hiding less again. Otherwise he's been doing super good. He's been very very cooperative. He has not been trying to get out of this room. Um, he really hasn't been meowing or howling at all. He's been pretty happy, actually. And it appears that he's putting more weight on his front leg and the paw. So that's good. Right, Ditto? Now he's a little he's a little nervous, so let me leave the room. I'll put the food down on his tray. I'm going to leave the room, and then I'll be back. I would also like to point out that all of the other cats have been extremely well behaved also. No one's been trying to bust into that room while I go uh, back and forth and in and out. Um, sometimes I might see Boo hanging out in the hallway looking at the door. That's because that used to be his room and uh, you know he's had to really sacrifice it for Ditto. So he's the one um, that misses it the most. But as far as the other cats it's almost like you know they're like okay. You know, Ditto's there, but we're okay with it. And Stella has been very gracious also. And out of everyone, Boo has just been such a gentleman. Right, Boo? You've been so kind to Ditto. You've been so nice to him. But that's how Boo is. Boo's a nice cat. Like, if, if there's any kind of sound of a cat or a kitten in distress, you know, Boo is so concerned over it. He's really a helper cat, right, Boo? He's a fighter and a survivor, and at times he's a thug, but deep down he is a very nice person, and he's always concerned, always concerned about helping. Right, Boo? Right, Boo? Boo is a sweetheart cat. That's what he is. You're a sweetheart, Boo. Who says, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. He likes to have a reputation of being a, a bit of a thug. He likes to throw his power around. But he's really a sweetie. Right, sweetie boo? Okay, sweetie boo. I'm going to give you lots of pets later. i got to finish up. I gotta finish my work today, Boo. I'm gonna finish my work, then I'm gonna clean the kitchen, and then we'll hang out for a little while, right? It is 8.20 p.m., and I just gave Ditto the rest of his dinner, which is two more scoops of the homemade raw food with water mixed in, and 
Ditto was in the middle of the room standing there when I came in. Um, and I showed him the plate of food, but he still went under the day sofa. So he's hiding under the day sofa. I'm going to sit here a few minutes and see if he comes out. I've been sitting in this room for 10 minutes and he's still under the day sofa. So I'm going to leave and I'll let him come out and eat. Look at this. All I did was shut the light and turn the doorknob and he came right out. I'm still here, ditto. I'm going to leave anyway. I'll let him eat in peace. Hello, ditto. Okay, I just tried to pet him while he was eating. And he's not too happy with that, so I'll leave him alone. It's 10.30 p.m. And I just came into the room to give Ditto a snack. So I have some shredded chicken here because I made some chicken soup today. And he has a hard time eating the crunchies. The other cats are all having crunchies right now. So I'm going to put this on his uh, tray and let's see if he'll eat it. I just put it on his tray. I'm going to do what I did before and jiggle the doorknob. Maybe he'll come out and eat it. Yep, it worked again. I jiggled the door handle, opened it, shut it. And he came right out. I'm just going to watch him and see how he does eating the shredded chicken. He ate all of the chicken, so that was a really good snack for him. Okay, so this room is all set for him to get some sleep. I turned the TV off. Uh, the curtains are shut. There's a little night light on, which is making this room look a lot brighter than it is. I also have the exposure cranked on the camera. Right now, he is under the day sofa. I'm just going to leave and he'll be set for the night. Good night, ditto.
watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.